Hi guys! Today I want to talk about how to study Korean. I've been teaching Korean online and offline for 7 years by October 2023. I've taught officially nearly 8,000 hours in Korea and Singapore. So I think I can share some practical tips for studying Korean for those living outside Korea. First, let me talk about whether age matters in language learning. Children and adults should have different learning strategies. Children often learn languages magically. They observe vocabulary and grammar through exposure and interaction. However, the magic doesn't happen to adults. Adults learn languages with more developed metacognition. We can benefit from explicit instruction, focusing on grammar rules, and vocabulary acquisition strategies. It won't work if adults try to learn Korean like the way children do. Your Korean won't improve naturally solely by watching Korean TV because our brain doesn't work that way. My Korean study tips will be focusing on adult learners' cases. First, know what you know and know what you don't know. Metacognition enables you to monitor your own language proficiency. You can tailor your learning efforts by recognizing your strengths and weaknesses. I prepared a checklist for beginner one-level students. You can find the information below this video and it's totally free. If you are ready with the checklist, ask yourself and be honest with the answer. According to our learning journey so far, we can answer these first three questions. First, can I read Hangul? Quickly check if you can read the following words. 태극기 왼쪽 열쇠 세수 취직 소개 북 음식 Can I introduce myself and a friend? 저는 이산이에요. 한국 사람이고 한국어 선생님이에요. 그리고 이분은 홍수민 씨예요. 영국에서 왔어요. 영어 선생님이에요. Can I read Sino-Korean numbers and know when to use them? 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 지하철 1호선 2번 출구 3번 버스 4층 5호실 6번 채널 7화 8쪽 만원 5만원 10만원 Memorize Korean by making stories and visualizing Let's look at the meaning of the word fluent When a person is fluent, they can speak a language easily well and quickly having certain information at your fingertips can save time and help you talk fluently for beginner level students i would like to emphasize a lot of memorization 
It's because you must stock many pieces of information before playing around with them. You need to learn vocabulary, verb conjugations, and grammar rules. To memorize vocabulary, please refer to my previous video. Rather than memorizing each separate word, it's much more effective when they are contextualized as a story. Even if it takes some time to make a story, it's still worth trying it. Color coding can help you visualize sentence structures, including conjugation and grammar rules. Words can be written in black, markers can be in red, conjugation can be in blue, some grammar rules can be in green. Let's look at the following examples. I opened my textbook page number 26. 26쪽 마커스 씨는 공무원이에요? 아니요. 마커스 씨는 공무원이 아니에요. 디자이너예요. 프라티바 씨는 호주 사람이에요? 아니요. 프라티바 씨는 호주 사람이 아니에요. 인도 사람이에요. 다니엘 씨는 디자이너예요? 아니요. 다니엘 씨는 디자이너가 아니에요. 판매원이에요. Practice Korean to remember longer. Method 1. Find the language exchange partner or conversation buddy who is a native speaker of Korean. Regular conversations with a partner can improve your speaking and listening skills. If your boyfriend or girlfriend is Korean, it's gonna be really hard to practice Korean with them because I'm sure you've already built a relationship based on English. So I suggest you find a totally new person so that you can build a relationship in Korean. Plus, use language learning apps and post every day. I recommend HelloTalk or Tandem. In HelloTalk, there is a function where people can correct your Korean post. Method 2. Teach others. Offer to tutor or help others to learn the language, even if you're not yet an expert. Explaining grammar concepts to someone else can deepen your own grammar knowledge. Method 3. Walking while studying or memorizing information can be beneficial for some individuals. Some studies suggest that physical activity, including walking, may facilitate memory consolidation. This is the process by which short-term memories are transferred to long-term storage. When you write down information, you engage actively with the material. This process of physically writing helps reinforce your memory. Fourth, put down your ego. This would be one of the most important tips. A lot of students are afraid of sounding stupid, so they don't take any risk of saying. But you should think this way. You should be stupid now to become cooler later. Expose all the mistakes earlier so that you can correct them as soon as possible. Those who don't have any fear of saying Korean improve Korean really fast. But those people should also be open-minded to be corrected because they often get overconfident about their Korean and their errors tend to stay permanently. Whereas, those who are afraid to make mistakes tend to have good knowledge of Korean. They can speak well when they have enough time to form perfect sentences. But they can be disappointed themselves as they can't express themselves as fast as they want. So tell yourself that you can be wrong and that you are still in a learning process. I hope this video inspires and motivates you to learn Korean. Those who haven't downloaded my textbook, you can go to the website below this video and download it. 
don't forget to download the checklist as well. In the next video, I will teach how to pronounce compound consonants like lil miyum and lil gyo, and other cases as well. Thank you so much. 감사합니다. See you next time. 다음에 봐요. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.